Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Grime. So, uh, as you can see, we are still in Nerve Root, and uh, so I actually had started recording this episode a bit earlier, but I had to restart due to technical reasons. Um, but you didn't miss much. Uh, so, as you may notice, uh, this area here that I noted was, you know, slightly fuzzy, had a little bit of a, of a spot of, uh, like, like here basically, a spot of uh, Frog of War that, uh, you know, seemed a little bit suspicious. Um, yeah, that actually was indicative of something, and uh, when I returned, I did notice that uh, slight um, effect that happens, that I don't know if I ever actually mentioned it, but I, I am aware of it, technically. Uh, yeah, the frantic uh, that I got very early in the game, um, which says that it gently pulls on nearby vulnerable surfaces, revealing hidden paths. Um, I did eventually notice the actual effect, however, it is quite subtle, I'm also not 100% sure that it hasn't occasionally not been displayed, and I just happened to find, uh, you know, some breakable walls and floors uh, without even without the effect being there at all. Or maybe I just didn't notice it. Either way, um, it is subtle, but it is there. And uh, next time I notice it, I will specifically point it out because I, I'm pretty sure I never did. Anyway, so I went back here, brought, uh, um, um, broke the floor here, and inside was, I believe, a, a second tier upgrade material, a shard. Um, now we have a similar situation here where there is a bit of a spot, so I don't remember exactly what this room looks like, um, you know, for real, but there might be something hiding there. In fact, it seems like whenever there is something not fully revealed, that that's pretty a pretty telltale, telltale pretty sure sign that um, there is indeed something yet to be recovered, uh, re recovered, re discovered. There we go. Now um, that's one thing. Uh, the next thing is that I did not keep trying this challenge here, um, but I I did cave in and actually looked up some info on it. Uh, just wanted to know if, it's, if it was something that, you know, I, I was missing an ability or I was just doing something fundamentally wrong because it just seems so cruel, right? Now, uh, there are good and bad news. The good news is that I can't actually do it yet. I'm still missing an ability. The bad news is that this early part I should should be able to do, as far as I can tell, that is just a matter of timing, and the visibility will never actually get better. So that that part sucks. But at the end of this sequence, which is a little bit longer apparently, not sure how much longer, um, there apparently I need another ability that I don't have yet. So I guess the good news is that I don't have to keep trying now. I'll just have to try it later. Um, so that's something to look forward to. Um, and then there is one more thing, the next thing. Uh, I was looking at the elevator ride again, and there definitely are platforms visible to the right. I didn't see anything to the left, but definitely saw something in this, you know, upper region. And in fact, when I looked at the map a, a bit more closely, and I talked about this in the, you know, scrapped uh, video recording that I, well, only a few minutes uh, that I did earlier, but um, yeah, it's, it might not come across on video at all, but there is a very faint white outline, you know, around the edges of the of, of the rooms, and that that white line, it's so thin, it's like a pixel. It might not be visible, uh, depending on your, you know, viewing conditions, but trust me, um, it stops around here and restarts around here, so between these two points, there's just a straight black line, which indicates to me that there is just, you know, something covering up the actual map, so there's something there. Pretty sure. It's not just visual, it's there actually are ledges. Now, um, of course, you cannot move off the elevator at all while it's moving. However, uh, I've been thinking, maybe when you travel the elevator down manually, or just, well, I, I don't know, just make sure it's at the bottom, and then walk all the way up, walk and climb all the way up instead of fast traveling or dying and respawning, maybe the elevator is not actually going to be at the top, giving you a chance to drop down the shaft and hopefully not die trying to dash onto one of those ledges. That's something I want to try, even though, you know, it's a bit of a climb, but obviously nothing really stopping me from doing that. Anyway, so that's something I will do probably after I'm done um, exploring Nerve Root to the end, re-exploring Nerve Root. Uh, for now, I'm up here. I was just going to make my way to this area here and then further on to, to this. However, when I came here, I noticed 
that there is now nothing stopping me from going down. Um, and I could have sworn, yeah, I, I mean, I saw these areas from below. Um, I could have sworn there was uh, that uh, yellow lightning stopping me, but I guess it was just normal blue lightning that I disabled by, uh, you know, destroying some uh, some energy node or whatever nearby. So, uh, yeah, I wasn't expecting to be able to go down here, but now it's just a simple matter of dropping down. What are you? Oh, you're new. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. An actually enemy version of these enemy thingies. Okay, please, turn around, you... <sighs> nope. And I'm dead. Okay, cool. Well, that was uh, terrible. <laughs> I was <laughs> caught in that swinging animation and I just could not turn around in time. Ugh. Okay, well... That's a bit embarrassing. Nope. But no problem. It's literally right here. Wait. Ugh. I, uh, that's okay. There we go. These are not difficult enemies to defeat at all. They're hardly even enemies. Oh, wait. No. Okay, that was just... I thought I saw, you know, a crumbly effect on the wall itself, but that was just my projectiles. Breath through fragment, level on dust, unformed hand. Okay, some finally some some extra mass. Okay, oh, dropped something as well. Charcoal root. Okay, more unformed hand. Just lots of goodies here. And a clutching root. Okay. That seems to be it. Trying to be on the lookout for those. For that secret passage effect. Honestly, it's kind of similar to... I guess it's just supposed to be rain splatters on the ground. Kind of similar to that and easy to confuse with it. Wait. Should heal first. Even though I wasn't really missing much health. I should have absorbed this guy. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't matter at all because there is... There was that. Oh, wait. I'm gonna go up. Whoa. Oh, okay, right. A, um... I don't remember. I need to use the momentum from this platform. Or do I, actually? No, actually I don't. Oh, wait. Mm, right. So this used to be not permanently electrified, but um, electrified enough uh, so that I, I would have had to time things. But there is that um, instant death barricade at the bottom. Okay, I did not expect this to work, but I will take it. Well, I mean, there's no danger here immediately. What? Wait. <laughs> Wait, what? What killed me? There's nothing there. There's nothing visible. Okay. And before, I, I will never succeed in whatever I did earlier. No, never mind, that's actually easy to do. There's nothing. It behaved like there was lightning. <laughs> but there isn't actually. Okay. I guess I just forgot to remove the instant death. Um, I don't know, trigger. Okay, that's cool. Well, I can grab this. And uh, that... That was that. All right. Okay. Nothing more than than that item, huh? Unless I missed something, but it doesn't seem like it. Okay. Well then, not sure what was up with that death, but you know, other than that, other than that, it's all good. Coming down here. I need all the mass I can get. Oh, I that was not the right button to press. Oh. 
Oh, forgot about you. Okay, you weren't quite ready for absorption yet. Kind of annoying that I always seem to stop just uh, just short of being able to heal again. Like right now, I'm almost to uh, on full healing bar, but you know, not quite. Uh, I mean, yeah, I can't heal. That's fine. I'm gonna just use this, even if it's a bit wasteful. What was that sound just now? Okay, this is all de-electrified and we're almost where I want to check. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. I'll need to double dash there also. Stamina. Okay. Yeah, this would have <laughs> all been a lot easier to do now where everything's unpowered. Oh, yeah, okay, this is easy. There's just uh, just one of these. It wasn't even hidden so much, it's just something I couldn't access before. Okay, more of these tier 2 upgrade materials, which is nice, um, but you know, still looking for one more of the, uh, of the chunks so I can upgrade again. Uh, I do have, I think, just enough money to upgrade as well. Of course, I'm also still saving up for that uh, second viable hunt point. Whoa, 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 hey, I was not looking at my character or the screen there. Uh, did not expect the enemy to suddenly appear. Okay, getting some health back just from absorbing. Um, and the increased... Uh, Increased gains uh, due to my armor armor set mass gains. Uh, is there something? No, I guess not. It couldn't really be. Look for a second, like there was like straight across from here, there was an opening in the wall. I mean, not not here in this view, but on the map. But no, no. Okay, I think we are basically done. The problem is, I never found the missing the final missing. Uh, Armor piece. So that's a little bit worrying. I guess I must be missing something. I never did, uh, you know, drop down into this area where previously we used the, the lift to travel up to the world pillar. So there might be something hiding here. Definitely could be. Um, other than that, I'm not really sure. There are no blurry parts anymore, I don't think. Of course, they don't necessarily have to be. I guess they're most... when they're there... oh, you know, there's this that requires double jump or something, some form of vertical movement that I'm pretty sure I don't just don't have yet. So that's one final hope, perhaps. One place that I know about that might have that uh, armor piece. Seems kind of weird to have, you know, to not be able to complete that set. Because if you don't have a full set, it doesn't really do anything for you. It's not like there's partial set bonuses, so... yeah... Anyway, well, there's something here. Well, there are plenty of things here, of course. However, I, mean, I suppose uh, I could backtrack all the way to uh, to double check this. Hmm. I thought we that would be kind of I don't know inefficient. So I think I'm instead just gonna keep going forward, re-exploring the feasters lair and all the areas that I couldn't get through before. There should be plenty. Should be a lot. And I'll just, uh, you know, use the fast travel to get back to World Printer. That seems a lot more sensible, the more I think about it. Uh, by the time I get over here where uh, where Owl is, I should also have enough money, at least for that one chunk, if I don't find one naturally along the way. I mean, even then, I might, might want to buy it. Um, maybe I'll even have enough money for the... Uh, the actual skill points, so yeah. We'll see. Keep going and see. Priestess Lair. Is there something above? Well, it doesn't display anything, so I guess we're good. Because you never know. Yeah, I guess I'll rest here. Oh, you know what? I also 
never actually went ahead and bought that uh, skill I was uh, looking forward to having. Holding RT will charge to instantly heal... Wait, will... Holding RT will charge to instantly heal 450% of the original value. Right. Honestly, a little bit strangely worded, but um, I'm assuming it just means what I think it means. Well, well I guess we can give it a try. So, uh, I can't heal because I'm not missing health, I suppose. That's not gonna stay for very long. Stay that way. I don't like this place. Well, it's... Sorry to hear that, but, I mean, also, we did take care of the Vulture, and you're technically no longer required to be here, so... Anyway, I don't need any of this stuff. Maybe we can tell him the good news? I will stick around as long as I can, but please do hurry. Well, I mean, again, I'm I'm actually done here, but... Well... Okay, what's up here? Things, I guess. Things and stuff. Oh, wait, no, that's not a platform, is it? No, oh, it's just background. Yeah, there's nothing up there. Nothing I can see anyway. And I'd have to be able to actually fly or something to uh, explore more of the, the airspace above here. I mean, this is a suspiciously large, spacious cavern, but... Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Wait. I have been here. Why is this not... fully on the map? Maybe there's something below? That ledge to the bottom left here seems a bit suspicious. Hmm. There's a set of teeth. I don't know. Um, obviously, there's, there must be something I didn't completely explore. And this is just a path up to that shortcut. Or, well, not so much a shortcut, I guess, as just a connection to that uh, other area, to Lithic. <laughs> Technically, this would allow me to... It's not that far to, to check out this area here. Get that off the map. But there's also still this one. No, no. I think... Ah, then I could travel across and, and actually take a look at this. Because I am curious. You know, I will just uh, pause and check those couple of places. Because they're kind of within walking distance, you know. Alright, so I'm up here. And uh, as you can see, it's already uncovered. I just did a blind jump over here and almost fell off, but yeah, apparently there is a platform right here. So, you know, kind of have to just trust the game. Um, <laughs> speaking of trust, that is very clearly a buried enemy that's going to come alive. Well, here goes nothing. What? No way. No way this is not a trap, come on. Crimson Iker? Wait. Okay, well, you got me, game. I didn't realize that this was uh, what it was called. I mean, I guess I'll just use it right away. That brings us back up to two hunt points? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Actually, I didn't even think about spending my other point on something else. Um, what was the next one on the list? Eh, it doesn't matter now. I'm going to take a look next time I'm at a, at a save point. Okay, that actually just stops you. Can't even walk across it. That is weird. Oh, okay. See that? That effect on the wall there. A bit of steaming or dust and some, some like, crumbly rocks. Yeah. That's that gentle pull on vulnerable surfaces. Oh, that takes a lot of attacks. Okay. Hmm. However, now I'm here, and there doesn't appear to be anything I can do. In fact, even a double jump would not be enough to get all the way up there, unless there's also a wall clinging and wall jumping ability, perhaps, later. Do the paintings indicate anything? The wall paintings here? I don't know. If so, I can't tell. Oh. Well, there does not seem to be anything else breakable here. Definitely mark this one, because there must be something to do here, but I just cannot tell. Okay, well, that was that was interesting. Really surprised that guy didn't come alive, but fine by me, I suppose. I don't suppose there is anything down that way. Nope. However, I am missing health now, so I'm gonna hold the heal. Okay. That was definitely a different animation. Of course, I wasn't missing enough health for it to matter, but 
Now we have that opportunity. Stolen body. Oh, you! You were... Yeah. I'm pretty sure I saw you before. Whoa. Okay. I guess it's... Not a unique enemy. Still respawns, even though it has some dialogue. Okay. Well, that was that. Um, right, over here I'm pretty sure I can't do anything, because that was just blocked off by those shifting walls. This is actually pretty far away. But there is also something here that's, uh, you know, probably not just a glitch of the map, but actually indicating that there is something more hidden. Anything else immediately obvious? Not really. Pretty sure I did everything I could up there. Yeah, pretty sure that I can I can do whatever is up there, so maybe I'll just make my way up there. What the heck, right? See you there in a second. Okay, so I make my way up here. I noticed that um, the elevator shaft that I'm pretty sure, yeah, must must have been here, uh, is actually no longer working. Instead, um, there are just I, I guess it, the idea is that it crumbled, that it was being powered by the mothers down here, um, and is now. Well, no longer an elevator, but you can still travel up and down, and it's just a series of uh, fallen platforms now that allow you to traverse. Uh, well, since those are no longer moving, I guess uh, it's a pretty fair assumption that this moving wall that was stopping me here is also no longer moving, so uh, I guess I uh, will have to make my way back there and actually take a look, because, yeah, that most likely is now, um, now open. Would be very surprised if not. Um, I'm here, almost where... I wanted to check. Uh, just happened to jump down here, and this wall makes very suspicious sounds. But I'm not sure if it's actually breakable. Not sure what's going on there. I've attacked this quite a few times now. That is odd. Maybe there's just something on the other side. Maybe it's breakable from the other side, in fact. Is right below there. Hmm. I don't know. I don't really see the opening, but I guess I'll just... Okay, just dash in. Left middle shard. And this is indeed breakable. Okay. Kind of an unnecessary shortcut, because you could just, just as easily drop down here. Unless this is actually death. Ah, uh, that's very deep. Okay. Fair enough. Let's not risk it. It's above here. Hmm, nothing. This should be a yeah, there should be a tooth here we can pull out of the ground or something. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Oh wait. Or oh. Never mind. That just is it ledge <laughs> that's ever so slightly too high to grab. Curious. I mean, okay, didn't remember that, or misremembered, more like. So that definitely seems like uh, another very strong indicator for a double jump. That's unfortunate, but uh, well, we did get something here. We got one of got one of the two things that I was hoping to find. Well then, um, I guess I'll make my way over here now, and of course, you know, take a look at the rest of the area, see if I can find anything else that I didn't expect. Oh, wait. Huh. I almost forgot that I wanted to make my way here and take a look down there. Okay, that's a bit of... It's a lot of backtracking, but, you know, I, I don't mind. And um, since I'm not recording any of it, any of the backtracking part, uh, I hope it's not too boring. Well, this has, has to be the tiniest secret of them all, but uh, I just happened to find this little... Hidey hole with a living rock inside, just because I happened to climb to the top of this ladder and jumped into the wall just in case. I, I really just wondered why the ladder kept going all the way to the top. And apparently that's why. Hey guys. Oh, you're, they're not even hostile. Okay. I forgot. So, yeah, I'm here. I mean, I suppose it's not that much further to where I wanted to go anyway. Um, I did want to take a look at the at the surface, though, 
Where did I, where did I initially go down? Oh, okay. Oh, really? Interesting. But the first absorb didn't completely break him. Hmm. Is there another connection? Did I initially just drop down here and there wasn't ever a way back up? Oh. So I'm pretty sure I could probably get to the top from this side, but it seems pretty far. I don't know. I guess I'll just head on over there real quick. So much for not having the backtracking on camera. Oh, wait. Yeah, but I fell. Oh, no. What's below here? Oh, that was another letter. Okay. Hello, jumper. I was gonna say, I remembered him actually jumping to the side too, and he did. Okay. Actually, I picked up a couple of those consumable items. So, um, yeah, so I have more... I actually have more uh, mass than it appears. Okay, I'm back here. And yeah, this is the elevator shaft with, you know, no more elevators. As you can clearly see, but platforms that allow you to travel up and down. So that's nice. Right. Yeah, and I made the mistake of dropping down to the left here, which is, uh, which you can't easily climb back up from. Hmm. Okay. I did want to check the. Uh, oh. If there was something above the elevator, I can't see anything from here. Maybe a better jump in the future will actually. Enable me to check that out if there is something there. Hi there. Suppose I don't really need to absorb now that I'm completely full. And there's also nothing to do up here, actually. I'm not really sure why I went up here. Only to double check, I suppose. Oops. That's not a platform you can drop through, apparently. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa there. Hmm. That seems like a very deep drop. Let's back with these guys. Man, it's been a while. Okay. I also wasn't entirely sure until a little while ago if, uh, you know, if I actually could stop my, uh, you know, stop my um, my fall with a sideways dash and avoid taking any falling damage. But apparently you can't. Oh, that was way early. We must be getting close to that place, right? Uh, well, <laughs> closer. Not nearly as close as I thought. I'm really not sure why I'm recording any of this. Or, you know, all of this, for that matter. Okay, yeah, so this was just a barrier, and that is a rock you can pull off the ground. And these are platforms to walk on, okay. Right, so this is all new. It's not being put on the map either. Unless now it is? Nope, not discovered. That is interesting. This is a huge cavern. Oh, and this is the place that seemed like it had a breakable uh, ceiling. Wait, okay. But that's really just a way out of this huge cavern. Making sure I'm not missing any breakable wall indicators. Alright, something down here. Ardent sand. I think there are still things below here that I didn't fully check out. Where is this leading? 
Gloomnest. Uh, of course. I completely forgot about Gloomnest, to be honest. Well, I mean, I didn't completely forget about it. I haven't thought about it in a in a while, though. Okay. It connects here. I think I might have seen this. But never actually explored it. Maybe I did come down this way, actually. Is this a way down into Gloom Nest? Oh yeah, it totally is. Okay. Yeah, so I definitely did see that weird crab-like creature at the bottom of this. Interesting. Yeah, that thing. That's not a crab-like creature at all. Okay. Wait. Nice. Ooh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, that guy's aggressive. Holy crap. <laughs> that scared me a little bit. Okay. Um, I think... Yeah, okay, normal heal is enough here. The thing is with the uh, charged heal, um, I have actually used it now when I was missing quite a bit of health. And it doesn't need to charge for a very long time at all. Is this a platform? Yeah, okay, it totally is. Of course, we saw him run across that. Um... Not only doesn't it, doesn't it need to charge very long, it also heals you instantly and for more, so that's a super valuable upgrade to get. Totally should have just wrapped him there. Okay. Nope. Wait. What the hell was that? Hey, buddy. Nope. Wow, oh, that's... That reaches so far. There we go. Okay, that was dirty, but I'll take it. Uh, prey hunt complete. Okay. And hunt point got, of course. Hunt point get. Uh, okay. Skewer, yep. Appropriate name. Uh, deal damage on well-timed dashes. Affected by resonance. Huh. Straddling the maddening line between formed and unformed, their mind wavers. Devoid of breath, we are but the ground we walk on. They frantically charge and leap. Slow to turn. Yeah, honestly, probably getting behind him would have been worthwhile, especially considering I have that uh, trait unlocked for 15% more damage. Okay. Um, there is, I'm, I'm assuming this is the same... This is going to be work on the same um, general mechanic as some other enemy. Was it this one? Well-timed dashes. Yeah, restore force on well-timed dashes. Uh, so I think the uh, more detailed description there was that uh, dashing leaves behind like a some sort of uh, thing, and when the enemy actually attacks that, um, you get rewarded because it only stays for you know a short amount of time. So uh, dashing right before you would get hit um, gives you that. Thereby gives you that uh, force back. And uh, yeah, likewise, the enemy would then get damaged for attacking that wisp you leave behind instead of the actual you. Wait a second, I'm assuming. Oh, I can't. Huh. Okay. Can you cheese it? No, that, that's not how I meant to cheese it. I uh, can't reach quite far enough, can you? <laughs> it seems like. It might almost be possible to, you know, for it to register as a hit from above. Whoa. Do not need to dodge. That's, I mean, it seems close, but I'm pretty sure it's not actually affecting it. It's interesting, though. Um, huh. Actually, maybe. Wait, wait a second. Can you not just... Um, awkward. Can you not just... No, I don't want to... Grab that. I don't think it's possible not to grab it. No. Ah. <laughs> if, I could, if I could just jump without grabbing that platform. And then dash. It would be all... All good. Okay, that just drops. Wait, unless... I can just do this. And that got me. Wow. Didn't expect that. But I'm here now. Which might or might not be in... Intentional to do it this way? This is also gloomness. What am I doing? This is a completely new area. This is not where I want to be. 
Whoa. Another enemy. New enemy, in fact. Give me that. Just a splinter, though. I suppose Gloomnest is kind of an early game area. Definitely accessible early in the game. So maybe it's not even that bad. I don't know. Ah, he almost walked into it, too. Well, I mean... Oh. It's too clever. Didn't fall for it. Whoa. Okay. Or is he clever? <laughs> Come on. Oh. I guess I could also just not be a complete wuss and... <laughs> oh, that was... Whoa. <laughs> the delay was much longer than expected. Interesting. Okay. That sticks to surfaces. And does not explode? I'm sure that's supposed to explode. It just didn't? Uh-oh. <laughs> that seems dangerous. Let's stay uh, well away from that thing. Okay. You know, this is super fascinating and I can't actually return. Oh, well. I guess, uh, I guess we're here now. Uh-oh, don't like this at all. Okay, we can drop that. That rolls down somewhat harmlessly. Huh, <laughs> this is not harmless. Oh, there is a breakable uh, wall on the other side. Okay, how could I actually go ahead and break that? Um... By throwing an explosive, presumably. What is this? Can be thrown to create an acidic cloud of bile. You know, I've never used one of these. Might as well... I, I never use these. Oh. Okay. That has more of a, an upper trajectory than I expected. Let's see. Uh, we have six of these. Hmm. I'm kind of low. Oh, come on. Don't hit the ceiling. Hey, why don't I just throw one of my five billion these things? Okay, that works just fine. Um, yeah. Oddly Pearl, okay. Definitely could be useful. And I don't want to be here, though. This is not what I, what I was planning at all. Uh-oh. Explode, please. Okay, no problem. This is safe. Oh, okay. I prefer him to actually hit me here, but there might be something something down here. Oh, yeah, indeed. An actual exploding spider. Okay, sir. All right. Yeah, you're also a spider. Yep. <sighs> if only I could get my hands on, you know, just a tiny, the tiniest little bit of breath. That would be nice. Oh? Is that a save point? Is that an actual save point down here? That's terrible. I don't want to... <laughs> I mean, I, I guess it really doesn't matter. It's just not what I was planning to do, but... Ah, what the heck, right? I guess I'm here now. I mean, I wanted to explore Gloomnest eventually. Just, you know... At some unspecified point in the future. Well, uh, let's grow. Let's not actually spend anything, though, because we need to buy s certain things. Uh, we do have three hunt points. What to do with those? I mean, this is... Yeah, dashing leaves behind a distortion for a short time, dealing damage when enemies attack it. That does scale with resonance. Uh, seems like something I probably should get. It, it's only... You know, it only costs one. So, yeah. Force region never pauses while the breath consumption heal is active. Hmm, not sure about that one. Increases all damage done by 20% after pulling. Yeah, no. Destroy all previous... Uh, destroying your previous vessel would now return all ardor. Well, that would have made sense with the... Uh, While well, I was still banking on actually having a lot of ardor most of the time. Which, uh, you know, has kind of gone out the window. Force regen. 
by uh, an additional 15%. I can't afford it. And I said I wanted to probably get the third rank of this, huh? I mean, there's... It would be silly not to get it now that I that I have the the points available. Sure, there are other things to get, like uh, improving this for two points. Right now, it doesn't heal a lot, but it's you know twice that amount would be pretty substantial, honestly. Um. Hmm. Yeah. No. I, I guess I don't need this one or this one again because pulling is such a you know a situational thing. Uh, Root Walker, right. I mean, it's already really powerful as it is, honestly. And, uh, you know, only an additional 50% healing, because right now it's 150 of the original value. I don't know if that's really worth 300 points, to be honest. It's already good. If it, if it, holding RT will uh, charge to instantly heal for 200%. I wish I could actually see the description for the first. Does it say that it instantly heals? It probably does. Um, is that that is definitely the case. So yeah. Um, sure, more of this if I ever go back uh, to my non-farming set. Yeah, this is just too expensive, and it's already pretty pretty easy to parry, honestly. Just just get good. It's kind of crazy to just to, to think that there are three more tiers. I mean, how easy would it be to parry? With, with this fully upgraded. Of course, that's ridiculously expensive. So, um, yeah. Anyway, increase Arda gained. Sure. Maximum force. That one's a cheap one that I probably should get, as, as well as this one. Even if it's just a first tier, just an extra 10% for a single point. Yeah, definitely something for, for the future. In fact, I mean, there's not... Right now, there are not that many things remaining that, that even... Uh, well, this one, I guess. That even compete with these, I was gonna say. Reflecting projectiles. Also need for one point, yeah, I guess I argued that earlier. In the past, I should say. Um, repelling an attack. Wait. Increase the damage done after repelling an attack. For 15 seconds? That's actually pretty substantial. Right, yeah. I, I also, at the time I got this, I wasn't really, I didn't really realize how good this would be. I could also keep investing in this. In fact, that would make sense, since I'm also planning to still keep increasing resonance eventually once I have, you know, some uh, some mass to spend on things. Well, we're down here now, and uh, I honestly I could, you know what? I kind of have to go with slightly shorter episodes than I have been in the past. Uh, I absolutely want to keep playing, but I will do that. But uh, start a new episode this is, since this is a pretty perfect. Pretty much a perfect natural stopping point, anyway. Uh, so yeah, just you know, shorter episodes, just for the benefit of, or for the, for the, in the interest of actually getting uh, episodes recorded, uh, and you know, so I don't have to. Doesn't do, so it doesn't have to come to any uh, short hiatuses, uh, like has been the case recently. So uh, yeah, long story short, I'm gonna end the episode here. We're unexpectedly exploring Gloom Nest now, I suppose. Maybe we'll even find a connection down to Feaster's Lair, and, uh, well, we will see. Who knows? I'm, I'm going to stop trying to make any kind of prediction, because it never works out the way I, I imagine. Well, almost never. And uh, that's perfectly fine. You know, just go with the flow. For the time being, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.